Welcome to Framework Fortune, I'm your host Ben, and in this video we're going to go over day trading ETFs and inverse ETFs. Now if you don't know what an ETF is, it is an exchange traded fund and it trades just like a stock does during normal market open hours. And these exchange traded funds are not like one stock, they are actually a basket of multiple stocks. And the first one we're going to look at is the SPY, the SPY. And we go over into analyze on thinkorswim you can see right here fund top 20 holdings so this is the stocks that that etf is holding those are the stocks in the basket and you can see you got apple here microsoft amazon facebook google tesla uh, chase nvidia paypal visa the list goes on of the top 20 there and then you can see right here as well, there's industry overviews of what types of stocks are in this basket. So when you buy into an ETF, you're actually buying into all these stocks that are within the ETF. And this can be a good way long term to buy into stocks that you might not be able to afford like Google or Amazon that's you know in the thousand dollar range well you could just buy the spy and it's only three hundred ninety dollars of course that's kind of high right now for the spy but you get the point how do we day trade these well you can day trade it just the same way that you would a regular stock everything will still apply to that you can see right here today on the spy this was a little double bottom U shape one U there another U there so you got the double bottom breaks up out of that same way as any stock would and it's got volume just like a stock so they operate exactly like a stock but earlier you heard me mention inverse ETF so let's find out what an inverse ETF is here is the inverse ETF DOG so ticker symbol dog it has nothing to do with dogs if you switch over to analyze you can see here pro shares trust short Dow 30 so this fund, instead of being a regular ETF and being to the long side, this fund is shorting the overall market and baskets of stocks. So if you look back at the charts here, you can see this has been in a downtrend and we flip over to the SPY and the SPY has been in an uptrend. Now what I like to do, especially during volatile markets where we're getting a lot of shorting and it looks maybe like the SPY is going to have a pullback or we have a sell-off, which we're getting to that point. This is a nice curl over, so there could be a drop down to that 377, just like there was here. But what I do is I unlink my chart, this chart here, and then we're gonna put dog at the top. So we got dog there, and then we've got the SPY down here. So this is a daily chart and this is a daily chart both over a year span and what do you see here? You see the SPY dipped down in March, DOG ran in March. The SPY has been continuing to climb, been on this nice uptrend and DOG is in a downtrend. So you can see the inverse ETF is literally what it sounds like. It's an inverse of the regular long ETF. So you're just going short and betting against the market when you play an inverse ETF. Or for instance, if it's not an overall market ETF like the SPY, say maybe you think that coal or oil or something is going to be dropping, you could find the inverse ETF for coal or oil and be short against the market, but you're not actually short. So if you don't have a margin account and you can't short, this is a way that you can short where you're not actually shorting, if that makes any sense. You're going long on this stock looking for the price of it to rise, but the way the price rises is, is, the, fund, is the fund shorts the market. So you're going long technically, but you're actually going short. So these inverse ETFs can be good hedges for your portfolio, but this video is about day trading them. So how do you day trade them? Well, if we know this chart is the inverse of this chart, then let's just go to a two minute chart and look here at these side by side for the day. And we can see in pre-market the SPY sold off right there and what happened with DOG? It popped up. And then market opens, the SPY starts to pop a little bit, DOG drops down, and then the SPY cracked off right there and DOG started going back up. 
So you can see these charts even in the intraday are still the reverse of each other. So it's very easy to day trade these intraday because all you have to do is have both of these charts up. And you see this little triangle here on the SPY. And this has been in a downtrend. You know this triangle is probably going to break to the downside. So you would just get in somewhere in here in that $30, $38 range on the DOG while the SPY is in this flag. And then if the SPY drops out of the flag, you get a nice run up. And you see this inverse ETF here really doesn't have a ton of volume in it and not a ton of fluid movement. So for day trading, you really want one that has a little bit more fluid movement. So one I would look at is VIX. And you can see VIX here, same thing, inverse of the SPY, but you actually have some room to make some money on this. But you just draw a downtrend on the SPY. Until it breaks over this downtrend, you know that the SPY is going to keep going down, which means VIX will keep going up. So when it opens up and the SPY is dropping and you see it hit the downtrend and start to fall off like right there, you could have got a nice entry down in this area and got a dollar move off of this inverse ETF intraday. And if you have a big enough account or you're on margin, you could actually have traded these both ways. You could have bought VIX here for the rip. And then when you see the SPY break over the downtrend, you sell your VIX position and then buy into the SPY position and then capitalize on the way up on the SPY. So there are multiple ways that you can trade these ETFs or inverse ETFs. You can swing them, you can day trade them, you can put them in your portfolio as a hedge, you can go long. However you want to do it, the option is up to you. And there are plenty of ETFs out there. Just think of your favorite sector. Say if you like tech stocks, just Google tech ETFs and tech inverse ETFs and get you a list. And if you think that tech stocks are going to be dropping, you could play that inverse tech ETF and make some money to the upside of that while that long ETF is dropping. I've linked my charts back and now we're on the SPY looking at the daily chart here. And the reason why I made this video is because we are starting to curl over and curl overs like this can lead to a drop. If you look back here, we had a little bit of a curl over and then the overall SPY dropped and it bounced off that 50 day moving average. Well, once again, we're curling over, so we could be due for another pullback. Personally, I think we should be a lot lower I think the overall market is overvalued because of all the money that the feds are putting into it and propping up the market. They've been doing this since back here in March of last year when the COVID lockdowns hit and we had this market crash. So I think we're due for another big crash like that. But whether this will happen this time or not, it's hard to tell because it could just be a drop, a little pullback down to this 50-day moving average right here and then it could rebound. So you don't know, but if we're getting into where the market could be having a pullback, it could be a good time to trade one of these inverse ETFs. You see VIXX back here in March when the stock market dropped, went on a pretty nice rip. So you could have day traded this, you could have swung trade it and made some nice money if you think the market is going short. So we're getting up, we're getting close to either a big crash or at least a pullback in the market because you see the market does have pullbacks besides the big one you had to run up there and then a pullback to the 50 day there pull back to the 50 day there this one actually cracked through the 50 day moving average and hit the 100 day at the yellow mark this one even went even lower and then it continued to rebound and this one bounced off to 50 so we're really due for a pullback down to at least a 50 but maybe even the 100 day or the 200 day. So during times like this where there's a lot of uncertainty, penny stocks, mid caps and large caps may not have a lot of runners in a market where we're going sideways or selling off. So if we are getting into that, you could have this inverse ETF trading in your back pocket as a fallback plan. So that's it for this video, guys. If you learned something, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe and turn on the notifications. I'm your host, Ben. You've been watching Framework Fortune.